Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a roof out of beehives. What's even cooler is this roof is fully functioning. So when you're under it, you'll get a rested bonus. And the bees, if you go up, the bees are happy. And what's even cooler is it's very bee-like because you use this cool hexagonal design, which is just like beehives. That just makes it feel extra special. To begin our quest, I'm going to show you how to make the basic structure that you can put a beehive in. The hexagon. I think it's a hexagon. This seems to work better the higher up in the air it is. So I put it that far up so that you don't get smoked out when you're inside the structure. But technically you could just do it at this height as a minimum. So three meters high, okay? And we're gonna be using these one meter beams here. And let me get in some better light. Basically we'll make a simple shape. And starting with a one meter beam, now we're gonna make two pieces like this and we're basically making a squashed hexagon. And boom. So if we look at it here, see, there you go. Maybe that's a better angle. That's the basic structure. And the reason that this structure is so cool is because if you go to place a beehive in it, you can see it easily just clips in. You can place it and then the bees are happy. And you can put anything underneath here. There can even be fire and smoke. And apparently, in Valheim, bees don't really care about fire and smoke. Happy bees, resting bonus, see? There are little gaps, but it works. So now that we understand the basic structure, let's get rid of this beehive, and let's link them together. Because basically, you can make the roof as big as you can link these things together. So I'm going to make a kind of simple roof, right? We basically just keep doing this same shape. So right, these are the parallel parts here. And then that means we're going to put one here. And then we're going to make it like that. And then like that. And then here's another one. Oh, I messed him up, see? Ha! <laughs> Try to replace him. This took me a while to get the hang of, but it's just a squished shape, okay? And you can just keep going like this. And then boom, you got more of them. And it gets easier. Once you have a couple more, your brain will just kind of fill in the pattern, right? It gets a lot simpler. Well, theoretically. I still manage to find ways to do things wrong. I'm good at that. There we go. Now we have our basic structure. So, let's add in our beehives. Now, when you're adding in the beehives, you kind of want to put them in the middle, because you see how I could put it, like, here? That leaves a bigger gap, so it leaves some kind of holes in your shelter below. So try and put them kind of in the middle, just like this. Now, once you fill up all the holes, then you'll find that you actually get shelter underneath of it. If that's not happening, like right now, that's just because there aren't any walls. So what you need to do is use the one by one pieces and you can start with the template in the top and just kind of go all the way down, right? And we can't reach this, so we'll sit so that we can look under it. And then boom, just like that and then it'll snap to the ground. And since we already did that, we don't need to sit anymore. We can just use all these snap points, just like that. Down the entire thing, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. As you can imagine, it's modular, so you could just keep expanding that pattern out and using more and more and more beehives. And if we go up to the top here, the more beehives you have, the more honey you get. What's even cooler about this is it actually makes the honey even easier to harvest because you don't have to jump around. You can just run around on your roof, grab some honey, and then go back in. 
And as long as the beehives are high enough up in the air, then you're not going to get smoked out, and most of the spots in the house will actually have a rested bonus. It's pretty cool. That is how you use bees for a roof. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's more Valheim videos every three days at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time. If you want to support me or my work, then consider checking out the video showing how to set up a dedicated server. It's a great way to enjoy Valheim with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!